I need to say something that is very, very, very important. Did I say this today? And um, I don't know, everyone, anyone who watched the season knows that I like to pull things out of my bra and slam them on tables. Yes, you do, baby. Bow. But you saw what we happened. We don't have a table right here, but there's something in my bra that I um, got to give to my husband. OK. Unlike your baby's mother, I did not take the plan B. Nothing fake about that. Just got real, y'all. Right here. Now, Kimbella and Joelle, congratulations, you guys are married now. Yeah. <laughs> There's a glow about you, I want to say. You look beautiful. <laughs> Is it just a bling? I mean, it, amongst other things. Come on, girl, come on. Give it to us. She decided to stop taking birth control. No. And you know me, I'm, my joints is ready to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. He. It's a boy? It's oh, oh my God. She already know what it is. Congratulations. Thank you. All positive vibes for you guys. Thank you. OK. Thank you. We have something that we want to talk about because sometimes things hit the cutting room floor and today we have a clip of a steamy scene between Mariah and Safari that we want to show you. Take a look at this never before seen clip. How come you have me come here? So we can talk about the record. This is a hell of a way to talk about the record. You're in a bubble bath, boobs exploding out. Yeah, I still look pretty though. Yeah, why don't you get in and tell me why? Yeah, I'm not really dressed to get inside of a. Okay, now, I'm sure you got boxes in there. Since you gave me up. hard to concentrate right now. I can make it harder. Let me see. Are those contracts? Mm -mm. I just want to know where you're headed back. Just squat up a little bit. Okay. somebody that looks like me. With... <laughs> and y'all bought a sex doll version of me? Wow. <laughs> when did this occur? Was this before you and Dream made up or after? <laughs> My mother well, watch this. So, <laughs> originally, it was to be petty towards Dream. But once I got to know Safari, I actually like him as a person. But I will say this, I didn't hold a gun nor a knife to his neck or head and tell him to get in the tub. He did all on his own. Safari, I've never seen you this embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I just can't, like, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Jacque, can you help him articulate what's wrong? Jacque don't know none. Rich, help. She like his sausage. He like her donut. No, they make good breakfast. No, don't do that. <laughs> so can you tell me, how are you feeling about Mariah? We saw you kiss her. <laughs> I'm, I'm just flabbergasted right now. <laughs> you didn't answer her question. But ooh, you ooh, kissed her. Y'all got the heat on? OK. <laughs> <laughs> so I know Mariah said that this was kind of to be petty, but Dream, does this bother you at all, that it was kind of done with the intention, maybe? It don't affect me, because I know that that, that was the past. Like, and then Safari, he going to be Safari. You did you, how did you feel seeing that he just said that you guys had a connection? And did it make <laughs> you feel any type said, of way? Ms. I don't Parker. feel any type of way. He can do what he wants. You feel like it further proves your point? Exactly. Absolutely. OK, let me make this clear. Nothing but the kiss happened in the hot tub. And even after that scene, when I seen the scene with him and Juju and I seen them reenacting her play, I hit Safari and was like, 
Wait, hold up. I have so much love for Juju. You know Juju when I see you. Yeah, but let's make it clear. We did not kiss. No, 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 I know, yes. but... <laughs> okay, let's make that. Yes, you yeah. moved, that you high. moved, yes. yes. But what I I'm moved, saying my hair was in the yes. way. I got a text today, yo, you kissed Safari? No, I did not. Sure did, okay. <laughs> Bitch, I did. <knew. laughs> you did not <laughs> kiss <laughs> Oh, wait, you, you sent her a text me. Is she not allowed to date Safari? I listen. No! Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I like him as a person. But I don't, don't want like him with for Juju. Me. You see him? Yeah. I'm trying to find myself. Y'all do As you should. So, I mean, Prince, why did you feel like you had to claim the throne? I mean, to be completely real, it's really not that big of a deal. There's enough but money yeah, to be made by everybody. You busted right? the whole party, though. You declared a rivalry, in it. You, and you came in the party, you brought a band in, and so you, you participated in the rivalry. That was her single release. You okay. know what I'm saying? She brought, she brought, she brought my For ex, me. she brought Shay. They came, they got in a fight with my friends. We're talking about a few different events. So you are now talking about your fashion show. Yeah. Which, okay. when I went and attended your fashion show, I let these two know how I roll, and how I roll is with class. Come on, bro. We know we know Shay is ready to turn up at any moment, and Liz is just like following you guys around, like you guys are legit manipulating her, cause she's acting. Okay. I have never in a way that she's I'm not saying you, but you, what do you, you mean definitely manipulating? have a hell of affluence over her. Which wasn't even there. So he can't say that anybody's manipulating me because nobody is. Well, you know what? We, because there is another party involved and we do have Gabby joining us remotely from Jamaica and I do want to bring her into the conversation. Hi, guys. Hey, okay. Why did you tell Liz after the fact that you were going to be hanging out with Gabby and not coming home? Honestly, I'm a okay. grown man. But you're and in a I'm relationship. Gonna do so what why be in a relationship? Do, as long as I'm not doing anything that crosses any lines, okay. like, I don't I don't see the issue. At the same time, I didn't know his situation either. You didn't know that he had a girlfriend? Why oh, are you looking so, so that's how we about to spin this whole <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I'm no. not spinning anything. Was there ever anything other than a platonic friendship between you and Gabby? Yes, in the past. In the past? <laughs> mm. No, it's because you know something. All right, well. Uh, that's why. That's we want to show you guys something that went down between Prince and Gabby that we did not show this season. So let's take a look. Oh, Busted. <laughs> She's so far for anyways. Come here. Oh, you want some comfort like this? Just tell me about how you're always there for me. Why are you rubbing up my bottom? You don't like it? I do. I because that's what I'm walking away. Oh, Liz, don't be mad, baby. Don't be mad, Liz. Oh. <laughs> I knew you Liz was a groupie. Might be upset, but to me, I knew was... it. What? <laughs> I knew you was a groupie. Yeah, you want me to spell it? Dumbass. You smell it. Take me back to my room. I'm not talking. Get him away from me. Okay, let, let's go to his room. Get him away from me. Just move to the side. <sighs> what is the status now of your relationship? We working on it. Mm -hmm. We trying to build on it. I'm just listening to a person who believes his own lies. Because I feel like you got something under your sleeve. I do. So should we save it or should we... Yeah, let's save it. Yeah, we're working on it. I'm seeing what he got going on. Period. That's good. Okay, now, we know you're trying to rekindle the flame with Cello, but it appears some sparks were flying with someone else. Take a look. What are you feeling right now, Cello? I feel like I want to slap the f*** out of What the f*** is that about? Not in the mic. What the f*** is that about? Look at that ass. You stupid. Don't f*** play with me. What the f*** is you doing? Bro, grab some stupid ass. You look real good. Listen, Claudia. Claudia, I need to jump in. The whole shirt up. We saw a kiss on screen. Did more than that happen? Of course. Well, Kendall wants to ask some questions. Kendall, you there? One of your benefits, y'all use the protection? Well, I mean... Well, wow. Chameleon here, she oh, said she got some things to say, so I'm about to bring her out there right now. Oh, she's yeah. coming down. <laughs> All right, it looks like Chameleon will be 
for joining us, and we'll get to hear from her directly. Oh, come on, Angela. Oh, you're so beautiful, you babe. Beautiful. All right, let's welcome Chameleon to the stage, everybody. Hey, boo daddy. Oh! We saw the kiss. You didn't know about his relationship with Shella? No, I had seen it, and I asked him about it. And what and he, he was said. just like, you know, I mean, it wasn't nothing. You know, I'm just there for my kids. Woo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> You know, but I feel bad for her. She's a beautiful lady. You know what I'm saying? She got his kids. And I, res I respect that. Like, I ain't that type of bitch at all. Listen, I was back here. And Chameleon, you revealed something to me back here on the couch. And you was like, I need to get out there because I need to say it. So, what's up? My period ain't come on. <gasps> To, to, to come clean yourself before uh, I go to the cars. Is my car service here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to hold it in because the, the conversation that me and him had uh -oh. was that y'all not together. Y'all wasn't together. You left him while he was in jail. Yeah, he felt that's what he told me. Type of way about that. <gasps> and, 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 yeah, and he, he said, did, he yeah, did downplay y'all's situation. So, pause, you so, are, you're the other so, person. Tip, you deal, so, she's so, the other so, girl. Tip, you were dealing right. that's that's what you Tip, you were dealing, just to be clear, Tip, you were dealing yeah, with Briscoe yeah. as well. Yes. So, I, listen, listen. Oh. I didn't Briscoe. Briscoe didn't me. But really, there's someone here that is probably feeling like crap right now. Are you hurt right now to good. hear all this hurt. stuff right now? No, disappointed, yeah. I mean, I understand, I understand. You irresponsible. Shello, I understand, I understand, Michelle, I understand your frustration. I'm responsible and, hold for on, you to do listen. something. Ir no, shut the because for you to do something irresponsible, you sound stupid. There's nothing else you could say about that. What I say, I understand your frustration. I don't give a fuck about you understanding listen, my frustration. Listen. You sound stupid. You need to shut the up. You gonna up. shut your up. No, shut the up. Knowing, don't I mean, play with me. We started the segment off talking about how he wants to get back with you. Does this make it like impossible yeah, or please, is there still hope? Please. Let's I'm end not even going there with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna go there with him because Briss knows I will knock his ass the Got that pink couch for real, for real. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's my responsibility. Like I've been, I'm, in, I invest in my time in this right. man, and when he do some stupid, shit, I've always been there for him. So I'm tired of just being there for him. Frisco, any final words from you? Because this was all about you, and it's a lot about you. So any final words in the segment? <laughs> to Michelle, like just we gotta talk. Me. We gotta talk. <laughs> exactly. Um, Chameleon, we really gotta talk. The thing is about Shello, she's a great person, a genuine person, and she's a boss. She always been a boss. That's and she molded me into who I am, like you know what I'm saying? Not the creep side of... And it's the thanks I get, basically. No, no, saying. listen. She's definitely mad right now. She got it's a lot of feelings going on right now, and we gonna talk about it, because we got to. We, we are really family. Yeah. So A1 and Lyrica, I'm just gonna start with you guys about the DNA test. Can you just tell us what the results were? I know you have them with you. A1, you are the father. 99.9. <laughs> nah, but let me, let me be real with okay. you. Like, I knew I was the father. It just hurts me that even my own mother-in-law would ask for a DNA test. Like, it hurts me that my so-called sister-in-law would, first of all, she didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. But I did this DNA test because I wanted to make sure that A1 felt comfortable. That's all I care okay. about. So, Pam, you were able to see some of the text messages that your daughter-in-law sent. Seeing that, hearing what your son has said, and now with the DNA test, are you officially satisfied? I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. She showed it, and that's what it was. And that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Me and my sister-in-law, Patrice, had that conversation a long time ago. I've done nothing to her, right. but you're giving my f text you messages pay, you and you saying that's f cool? No, what I'm saying Like, you, that don't even make sense. At abyss. the end of the day, okay. you get f chopped off of that yeah. you You've cut off your relationship yeah. with, with, with your sister-in-law. So I cut her off. off. Yes. But do you say what she do? Clear up from A1. No, I'm not. Dog. That's my wife. Yeah, I'm talking about her. Let me That's my you let, She came to your house, son. I'm not worried and about And she saw her shit. acting all wish watch this You wank! <laughs> Looking like a, a clown in the face. No, shut the <laughs> up now. That's your problem. You tell her shut up every mother time. <laughs> we gonna stop this bullshit. Pam, you will not be at my child's birth. You are so <laughs> respectful. And you, you will not see your grandchild until you apologize. 
You are an evil witch. Lyrica, that's not cool what you said. I'm not going what? for that. I'm not going for that. No, what's not cool is what your mama just said. Everybody shut up. What's what your mama just said. She ain't even apologized to me for asking me for a mother DNA test. That broke my heart. I can't take any more of this pregnant abuse that's going on with the animosity. Don't tell me this is too much. I'm not going to, I'm stopping. This is a lot. Calm down. I, Lyrica, Lyrica, wait one second, one second. This is crazy. And I'm going to tell you, I have okay. no Pam, wait. I have no clue. No, she's, she's upset. I'm just being honest. You guys, we got to stop for a second. Okay, I just need everybody to be quiet. Lyrica, I want you to say your piece. She's sitting up there faking. Because I don't want you screaming. And then we're going to take okay. a break, because this is too okay. much. All right, go ahead, Lyrica. First of all, to sit here and hear my mother-in-law call my mom a bitch is heartbreaking. And not one time has she looked in that camera and said, you know what, daughter, I'm sorry that I said I would want a DNA test. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I'm sorry I dragged you all season. Yeah. Let me ask no. you, who's done more for your career currently? Is it Mariah, is it Rich, or is it Naya? Naya taught me a valuable lesson. Oh, okay. Don't take friendships for granted. John Quay came in to help me. Rich, uh, he's number one at the top of the list because if it wasn't for Rich, I wouldn't okay. have met any of y'all. And Mariah, I love her dearly because she stepped in after well, everybody turned their backs That's on actually me, good almost. because I did want to talk about that because Mariah, you did kind of get involved with, with Sydney's Mariah, career. You said she wasn't prepared, so I she came in prepared. and I made her prepared and I got her in a studio session and I gave her a bop. Yeah. I don't understand why it's a problem for me to be in this meeting because it's never a problem for me to be in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rich, when we kind of saw Mariah come in and she played this song, why were you so upset that she met up with Sydney and helped her with the song? Because it wasn't Mariah, it was insert person. Anybody, I would have been frustrated, like, oh, I'm sitting here wanting to talk to you because I'm unhappy, and you're bringing people to a meeting that makes me not even be able to really convey what I want to convey without trying to come off like a bad guy or embarrass you. The thing is, is that not only did that happen on camera, but there also have been blogs talking about a baby. Can you guys fill me Wait. in? What? Okay. Huh? I am... What? What? I am not pregnant. Oh. Unfortunately, when he found out that he had diabetes, he got a vasectomy. And we have been talking about <laughs> kids for a while, so... We're trying to see about this reverse thing when he's ready, but I would one day like to be. If I was gonna be pregnant by anybody, it would be with a man that I've been with for eight years, who knows my situation, who knows my mother, who accepts me flaws and all. I love Rich very much. I am very much in love with him. So don't make the face. I had no idea that it was this deep. Rich, are you in love? Ooh. <laughs> mm. Say something, please. It really makes me look bad when you make faces like that. She put her heart on the line. She did. You don't have no right to sit on this stage and talk about my, my, my disease, my diabetes. What are you talking you about? Not, I'm about to walk off that? stage because I'm not doing this with him. Just say what now, you feel. That... Like, it's that simple. Shut the Act... up and let me speak. Don't Come disrespect on, me neither. Come on, Come on. Don't talk to You really going like to disrespect me right now? All right, I'm going to let y'all have this. No, Rich, we're going to have this. Come on, Rich, 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 Rich. I'm really not gonna guys, hit him, yeah. are y'all crazy? Guys. Like, just I'm tired down. of this. First and foremost, I've been with Rich on and off for eight years. I was pregnant by Rich, yes, I've been all that. Mariah. Like, we know all that. No, because I'm tired of this. Mariah. Like, what the f I want to clarify that I could be with any person that I want to right. be with. But when I lay next to Rich and I'm with Rich, I feel like I can be myself. And I didn't set myself up and I'm not embarrassed. You know why? Because at the end of the day, when we go home, we're still going to, I love you and I love you too. And well, it's going to That's go why home, she's so going to keep matter. going through this. Duh. Well, <laughs> oh He's not backing okay. you up, sis, so stop embarrassing yourself. I'm not embarrassing I'm to play myself. You? I'm not embarrassing like you are, myself. Like, you are, you just said, and then when we go home, we yeah. gonna say I love you again, yeah. and then and the next gonna reunion, the y'all gonna be right back here. Listen, I don't talk on other people's personal business, that's why I can. What? First of all, sis, I'm talking about relationships, okay? I'm you talking about relationships. Mariah okay, Lynn. well, I thought all I was right, trying to sound smart. Okay, well, you thought I was trying to sound smart. But cool it down. Cool it. Let me walk off stage. Let me walk off stage. And I'll be the damn if I be the last bitch to be embarrassed. The f is you talking about? F out of here. Where's Rich? I want to talk to Rich right now. Move. 
You see what you did? You don't back no, me no, up no, no. time after f time, yo. You told me you was comfortable with that. I would have never brought it up. And you disrespect me and embarrass me in front of this op ass bitch. Why would you do that to me? Op -ass bitch. Who's yes, op -ass my bitch? enemy. She just said I embarrassed myself. Why do I Who? keep playing myself with you, Naya? That's crazy that you left me on that stage like that. Because you know how much I care about you, that you don't back me up a little bit. You let this bitch tell me that I embarrassed myself. We didn't hear any of that. Are you gonna go out there and back me up for once, my for once? <laughs> Have my back. This is crazy. Yes or no? Okay, there's no doubt that Scrappy has a lot of history with his baby mama, Erica. And even though we thought their relationship ended last season, there seems to still be a whole lot of chemistry between them. Let's watch. Okay, Bambi, how did it make you feel seeing uh, Scrappy with his baby mama? I mean, it makes me feel like Scrappy is Scrappy. Like, I, everybody don't got to take everybody all that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're dating. We have great times together. But I ain't trying to marry this <laughs> Like, is that not okay? not trying to get married. I, like, <laughs> like, is that cool, though? Like, you know I what I'm saying? Like, we like, have a like, great I should, time. I should be able to see my baby mama. How you doing? Have a conversation. It shouldn't be like that. You feel me? But you cool. touched her ass. You licked your finger first and then playful. touched her ass. It was real play. That was That's cool. That's what you got. Playful. Well, let's pull another card. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Let's, when, let's when pull another card. Let's pull another card. Let's pull another Where was you just with me last week, Scrappy? Where was you? What this Baby mama can be side chicks too. What do you have there? Let's just see. tell me what that say. Where we was? Okay, oh. we were at the La Meridian Hotel. Who was you? Oh. And you what? What do you say about this? When I say about that? I think that's your real name on it. When I say about this, I think I'm that's gonna tell you what I say about this. We sat right at the bar. We sat at the bar got the whole time. Up. Okay. We got towed up. We went up there, saw the went to sleep, and I left. So you didn't <laughs> before you left? <laughs> no. And I put that on my daughter, cause I put okay. that on God. My well, we, ain't gonna, like, I don't... we ain't gonna bring the baby and God into it. Bring me the motherfucking Bible. I bring me the motherfucking Bible. And if you lie on the Bible. Can we can we get a lie to take the test? Can we, can get, we get a lie detector test? Okay, let's get a lie detector test then. Can we get a lie detector test for that? I will, take, I, I will put can my hand on the Bible. No, 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 we don't want the Bible. This is not a federal investigation. You period. Unless unless the judge tell me I got to take one, that's the only time I'll take one. You feel me? Scrappy answering each question truthfully with just saying yes or no. Very calmly, the test has now begun. Is this the year 2014? Yes. Do they call you Scrappy? Yes. In the last month, did you perform oral sex on Erica Dixon? No. Did you answer each question on this test truthfully? Yes. Now, earlier in the show, Scrappy was asked to take a lie detector test about if he was still hooking up with Erica Dixon. Scrappy, you said no on the stage, but once we were backstage, you agreed to do so. So the results are in. Are, are you ready? Sorry. Scrappy, you were asked if you performed oral sex on Erica Dixon in the last month. You answered no. The lie detector test shows that you were not telling the truth. Oh, <clears throat> oh my Thank gosh. you. Ooh. I am just so disappointed. So <laughs> You said a month, right? You said a month. In the last month. Yes, it's been about two weeks. Wow. Oh. I don't recall that. I don't recall that. <laughs> you don't recall coming to my house, us outside playing Uno. I remember that. Drinking to, what, two, three in the morning. We had a conversation, went back in the house, watched movies on the sofa. 
I don't stop. You woke me up, you pulled my pants down, and you proceeded to what? I don't remember mm. that. So what happened to the hotel? You really gonna lie? What are you talking See, about? See, the hotel was that. last week. That's the yeah. receipt. Oh, the hotel last was last week. week. So we hooked up two weeks before that, and then we was at the hotel. I don't remember that. Scrappy, that you don't happen. recall none of this. That didn't yeah. trust them lie detectors. Huh? Can't I don't trust, trust, trust them. Envy, how do you, what do you say about this? It just makes me feel like, you know, there's always gonna be this misperception it's a double, of it's a double it, standard. It, it definitely is a double standard because if I do it, I'm a side chick, but if she do it, she just the baby mama. I haven't slept with Scrappy in over a year. Mm -hmm. So this is something that just happened in the midst of us drinking, being there, but I stopped it before it went any further <laughs> for side chicks. Really, really cute. <laughs> now, there was a lot going on in here a little while ago, a lot of screaming, yelling, I see you tearing up, Yandy, and I know that you love all of these children. Mm -hmm. What's going through your head right now? The, the children really have a very strong bond, and it's just sad that because of adult drama, they're not able to see each other. Let me ask you, Samantha, the prior situation was a little crazy. I, I just want to know who came out from the audience and decided to hit me? Who did it? I just want to know. Do you know, Yandy, who did it? You don't know at all? Mm -mm. I didn't even see it, actually, when I asked what happened. They told me in the back. Keisha, just... <laughs> oh, who was that? I don't know. <laughs> Nina, I just want to say that this is pathetic. You act like you have so much love in your heart for these kids, but it came to a point where somebody physically touched Little Mendici's mother. And you sitting here shaking your head like you don't you know don't, who did don't. it. You believe that she knows? I, she who? absolutely knows. I know for a fact she knows. If the focus is the kids, let's focus on the kids. Let's talk about we could how talk. you lie. You just said you didn't know who did it. And what I said Obviously, was... Obviously, someone else what, knew. What, what I said it's was... someone that possibly could be related to you. What I, so own it. Own that uh, you had somebody come to fight Are me. you crazy? No, Nobody needs anybody crazy? to fight you, own darling. It. OK, now, I want to talk about Little Mendici's birthday party. Samantha, let me ask you, did you feel like Yandy sent Kimbella to the party? Oh, most definitely she sent Kimbella. I know that you, you said that you showed up and you left. Can you clear that up? We showed up and we got out the car and we heard a bunch of commotion. But I was like, I'm getting back in the car. I hear craziness. Okay. And we just turned around and got out of there. And then I found out when I met with Kim, she was there and I was like... So that was the craziness with that Kimbella? That was the craziness that was going on outside. And I'm like, gosh, why didn't you tell me? So did you not know that Kimbella was going to the party? They have a mutual friend that told her where it was. And she's like, well, I'm gonna show up. I wanna see the kids. Okay, and... so she told you that she was going. Who has she a told mutual me after friend with Kimbella? Kimbella? She Who told has a mutual friend? Me, she told You're me saying you have no mutual fact. friends? Not with Kimbella, no. All right, well, that's okay. a new point. Like, let's move on. All right. No, well, it's important because it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> yeah. Let me address something really quick because, as you know, production was there the day of the birthday party, and we were with Yandy when she received a phone call from Cambella. The audio that you're about to hear happened moments before Cambella tried to crash the birthday party. Oh, that sounds Let's different listen. than what she said. This is Judy. Hi, Hi Cambella. How are you feeling? Thank God I need you today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me see. Let me let me go right there and get her. Hold on. Hello? I'm about to text you. All right. So, so Yandy, it sounds like you knew that she was in front before... She, yeah, she called me right when she was... Excuse me. She called me when she was already there. Okay, but it sounds like what you said before was you knew after the fact, mm -hmm. but now it sounds like a few minutes because before... Because Kim was never supposed to be the commotion. When she, she called me, she's like, oh, well, she, she already she knew. By the time I got out the car, okay. she was already there. Okay. She had already, she you already know... pulled up. Well, you, can you understand how it looks a little funny to her when she's inviting you to a party? Your friend shows up, she's not with her children. No and gift, she, ready and to rumble. She's outside. Sneaky. She was not ready to rumble. She was on. with a sweatsuit and her wig. She was not ready to rumble. She was like, yes. You wasn't there, so you don't she, know. She said it to security. She said, right there. those are my nephews. That's my son and her son. They are not her nephews. She was not invited. If you guys all have children together, how do you get them the, all together? Can you use a mediator? has to do it, and he'll be the one to delegate because these are his children. Okay. Yandy, this mm -hmm. is not her place. And okay. that's the problem. She thinks she's the father and the mother. Listen, the problem you have you don't want to admit is anything. your baby daddy don't like you. It has nothing to do with you me. You know what I'm saying? It's not me. I don't okay. like you. He went on I the show. Like All right, guys. Hey. He don't like you. Where's your, where's your marriage license, boo? Where's your marriage license? 
offense. Let's Who talk a little offense? bit about this marriage, Yandy, because yes. this was something that we all saw this yes. season that yes, played yes, out. Yes, 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 now, yes. I was at your wedding. I yes. know that you, you know, walked down the aisle mm -hmm. in the eyes of the law. In the eyes of the law. Are you legally married to Mendeecees? I am married to Mendeecees. In the eyes of First the law. First of all, excuse me. In the eyes of the law, who are you married to? Boyfriend, fiance, anything? Why are you worried about right. that? I'm you not, so scared right. your man. You're so scared. Yeah, you legally. So, so this is what I okay. have to say to you. There is no piece of paper that's going no to shit. dictate how I feel about this man. So them saying my marriage is not legal doesn't make me any no, less but married. The okay. Is. Period. But so, so but, is, but, but, just to clear it up. But to clear it up. She lied. To clear it up. Nobody On lied. national TV. This is the thing is. I don't know how y'all feel, but I secured the bag. I protect the bag. Yeah. I've never, ever asked her for anything. Yeah, yeah. What? Nobody ever told you that. Anyone that said that they want money? You've been trying to get child support forever. Stop it. Where? What court? I give your what court? Tell them to get child support. Child support. So okay. Never, never, ever. Ever. never, never. She's never delusional. Never in a conversation. She has the gift of gab. Why she do you care? This out for because you're saying... You ain't been with for about six years. You ain't been with about 11 years. Why do y'all care? You so mad. Y'all just trying to hide that I had a relationship with him. You press, baby. It's not me trying to hide it. It's not me trying to hide it. It's not me trying to hide it. He's trying to hide it. He hid it. You pay. You hid it. You mad. The top row of your teeth are only real. The bottom is yellow still. He paid for the top, and I could pay for the bottom, baby. But you're a whole woman. Why you pay for half? But he had it quit it, though. Right? And he gifted me with an Audi with a red bow on top the day after you announced your pregnancy. Girl, bye. I know it's toxic and it's messy right now, but I do hope that watching the package with the children, seeing how much they love each other, you guys can't come together, even if it's finding a mediator, so that at least the kids can start rebuilding their relationships during his absence. I wish you guys good luck with Thank that. Thank you. Now, speaking of the end of part one, Jocelyn was just about to reveal something about Mimi. Let's take a look at what you said on the After Party Live. It's obvious you and Mimi will forever be tied to each other. Is there any chance for a resolve? Mm. She my bitch, too. <laughs> <laughs> Just know that. And that should definitely answer your question. Next. All right, Jocelyn, do you care to elaborate on what you were talking about? I'm going to tell you like this. Me and my had her in our bed in my condo, and wait, we hit that together. Wait. So, oh. while she throwing all that, she needs to go ahead and say that. You, yes. you and Stevie yes. had Mimi in yeah, your condo. Yeah, I ate the, ate the all night, and it's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good for us. It's, it's good for us. So, I don't know why she acted like we're such that. enemies <laughs> when we was in the condo kicking out. <laughs> don't forget. And now you act like Can you we hate to each other so much. I don't give a about what she says. I don't give a about her. You shouldn't, but you should take that raggedy ass wig off your head. She, she right. never responds. Just like she didn't respond. And hey, you better not lie. Is this real? I is will, this true, Stevie? I, I will true. You know how them nights be foggy exactly. and all. He always forget. He knows it. She knows it. I just love my life. You just be quiet, because you just be lying. You hold it in for a while. Why is that? Because, you know, I... I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I, I got respect. I got respect for Mimi, but she doesn't understand that. And so she makes me not act like I don't have any for her because the way she acts towards me. It's not that deep. Bitch, we we we, we And then your man was there. No, we didn't. And he I do, and I had to beg your man we, to we, you. We see when I. We did. No, he, he went asleep. You. He fell asleep. He Why is he still here? You. He wouldn't sleep with me, it's but he don't. He wouldn't sleep with you. Sounds like that's a bit so of an amendment. It wasn't a threesome, though. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to both of y'all. I don't care. You enjoyed each other. Yeah. Mimi, you are confirming you guys did have a threesome type. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She does what she does very well. All right, now, Jocelyn, when did this happen? Was it a one-time thing? It was a one-time thing. It was one time. It was a wild night. Erin, did you know? <laughs> did you know about this threesome? I absolutely did. You did? Okay. I did. All right. Did Where know. were you that night, though? I mean, we were looking for you, too. I wasn't called, oh. so. Jocelyn, would you have another threesome with Mimi? Girl, I could never say never. I don't know. <laughs> oh. But what I do know is that... Look at Stevie praying for this <laughs> Probably so. But what I do know is that Mimi's an awesome person. Thank you. Yeah. I know I talk a lot of uh, Mimi, I'll be the bigger person. You did what you did. You made a mistake, but you're a great mother. And I will never take that yes. away from you. Oh. But I respected you from day one. So I apologize for everything from then to now. That's big. Yo. That's big. I'm, like, I'm 
I mean, this I'm is, this is a I big mean, deal. Is that of you that is that. open to that apology, Mimi? Absolutely. I'm always open to apology if it's sincere. Absolutely. I don't have an issue with you, Jocelyn. And, and I want to let you know that I'm not mad that you guys are together. I'm not. You should have because he's a headache. I know he's a headache, honey. That's why I said you. I know you, you know. Exactly. Okay, that's your, now, you got that. He's a big Listen, ass headache. I feel like we got somewhere. Yes. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. The rest of you guys should be in ladies. I just feel like, you know, it's, it's looking forward to being a great night for me tonight. All right, all right, all right. I got you guys. Peter, did you know that that's how Amina was feeling? Uh, Amina is a lot smarter than people who give her credit, you know. And here's the deal. Y'all can say, you know, oh, he's playing both of y'all. Nah, I, I love, I love them. But... I, I get that, but at the same token, you have to allow people to love freely, to give honestly, you know? She gave her love freely. I gave my love freely, thinking that he was doing the same thing. There are women that don't mind men who sleep around. I just personally am not that girl. Are you not that girl tonight? Because when we watch the tape, I'm never that girl. So at what point did you decide that I am not the girl, that I know this man sleeping with somebody else, and I'm just not going to allow it? Because even after you knew, you and Peter still got together. Um, there were still feelings there. Mm -hmm. And he was still the person that I was turning to. Mm -hmm. um, also, it took me a moment to let go of the anger of him cheating mm -hmm. and saying, she's just me when I was 23. Mm -hmm. So it took me a moment to get there. Mm -hmm. Also, you know what, Monique? I want to be clear. I don't like putting people in the same category as Tara. You know, I have 12 years with her, and she's done nothing to me. But this was bothering me, too, because people compare that at, or, or think that I compare myself to her in any way or anything like that. I know that what her and Peter have is something that I absolutely don't have with him, but the connection that him and I have is something that they don't. It's just totally different. It's different. And, and, yeah, it is. and, and this is something that I want to ask Peter, because you knowing that this is, this is what it is, and you basically you openly saying it everywhere you go. You love both of us. Why did you decide to be with me? This is just an explanation, not an excuse. I was in a dark space, and um, Tara took it as I needed space. And it wasn't space, it was I needed an outlet, and my outlet became Amina. And we started hanging out, making music, and it just became a bright spot, and home was dark, and this was bright. But before me, it was other women. The only difference with me and those other women is he married me. And that's why I always felt like with me, it's a little bit deeper than the other ones because he married me and he risked, he risked all of this happening. Yo, but you know what? Well, what I would say to but that, Amina, I got Amina, a couple... But Amina makes a great point. And when Amina says, Monique, I knew there were always women in the picture once she became your wife. Not being your son's mother, were there just mm. other women? No, no, no. So you weren't unfaithful? No, no, okay. it, it, was, it was Tara. If I had known Tara still had the feeling she had for me when she found out I was married to Amina, I never would have married Amina. Oh. I didn't know. Peter, is this over? I mean, I think so. She deserves better. I mean, I think it's over for all of us. I think I have to go and become a better person to even deserve either one of them. I have to go work on myself. Um, I'm too old to be acting like this and doing this, so. Well, I need to say something that is very, very, very important. Did I say this today? And um, I don't know, everyone, anyone who watched the season knows that I like to pull things out of my bra and slam them on tables. Yes, you do, baby. Bow. But you saw what we happened. We don't have a table right here, but there's something in my bra that I um, got to give to my husband. OK. Unlike your baby's mother, I did not take the plan B. Nothing fake about that. It just got real, y'all. <laughs> well, the drama between Peter, Tara, and Amina didn't end with Amina being pregnant. In fact, it was only getting started. When Tara answered Peter's knock on the door, she got knocked up herself. Let's take a look. A couple weeks ago, I went to the doctor because I wasn't feeling well. And? And I found out that I was um, 18 weeks pregnant. 
already told you, you know, the time frame of when I was still dealing with Tara. I told yeah, you we had, that, we had that one night stand. Man. She got pregnant. Peter, tell me you're lying. Tell me you're joking. I'm not joking. Tell me you're joking. I'm not joking. Why would I you didn't, think you're well, pregnant? I didn't want that. When I was the one that's supposed to be pregnant, and I just killed my baby. Maybe you don't realize you are spreading yourself so thin, but it's taking time away from your other children. Have you considered a vasectomy? I made an appointment to have a vasectomy. You think it's okay to tell me you giving Tara another baby and not me? Wow. Okay. Let me uh, let me start with this, Tara. I, you have been pregnant before, so how could 18 weeks go by and you not know? That you're pregnant. I mean, well, let's just backtrack. If I were found out at one week, mm -hmm. I would be having a baby. Okay. And you should have so just let's said just that. let's be clear. And anybody who knows me knows that if I feel like there's a slip up, there will be a plan B involved. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, when that plan B was taken, that was the that rest was history for me. Okay. So like, you took a plan B. And I did. Didn't, and thought it would work. Absolutely. I want to say I'm glad it didn't work. You how, are. How, yeah, how you are happy that yeah, she's having man. the baby. He's coming, he's coming, and I want to kiss his little feet in two weeks, and I can't wait. Okay. Do you think that Tara got pregnant on purpose, Amina? Well, no, you don't get pregnant on purpose. It takes two people to get pregnant. But um, hiding it for a long time, definitely on purpose. So, you have Peter, two kids already, you know Peter when you get pregnant. and I are very close. There's nothing even at this point that goes on with my body that he's not the first person to know. Okay. Even now. All right. Amina, let me ask you this. If you knew then, that Tara Lies. was pregnant, would you have still gone through with the abortion? I probably would have kept the baby too because part of me having the abortion was Peter because he doesn't want any more kids and I was considering that. I want to be clear. I, I'm, I would never want to say to a woman, come on now, you know. The, the thing is, once you made that decision, I agree with, you know, yeah, I, I, I rock with you on that. Okay. You know what I mean? It's not all the way comfortable for me either. I mean, you were very upset when he brought up the vasectomy to you in the package that we just saw. Uh, and I know that you wanted more kids. So how did it feel knowing that Tara is going to be the last person to have one of Peter's children? <clears throat> well, at the time, I, you know, I was upset. But I, I definitely overreacted, you know. Especially because she's not the last person that has her his what is, baby. Who? What does that mean? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. Wow. So, oh wow. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. So. Uh, well, I just got some news. And uh, I'm trying to um, see if it's trying, but... for sure. Hmm? Do you want to talk? Do you want to talk? Huh? We just did this, Stevie. He says yes. You did this when? Took it in front of me right now. with anybody else? Here you go again. I'm asking you a question. I'm just asking you. You already did that to me before. Now you're asking I'm, I'm me just, if your baby again? I'm just asking you a question. Didn't you do that already? I'm like, look, though. So now you're going to not, look, not, so not much, somebody else's you know, baby. Listen, can you just hear me out? I'm not trying to beef with you. Don't you ask me that me. question the first time I got pregnant. All right, but you ain't been, you know what I'm saying? I haven't been with anybody. No man, I've been with girls. What the f you want me to do? I didn't no, get me pregnant right on myself. Me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Talk to you like don't how? Don't talk to me like that. You don't gotta cuss at me. There should be some respect somewhere. That's where it should be. The respect that you should give the woman that you've been with for going on six years is not to question her about if this is I'm, your baby. No, the respect that you should give somebody who has been the kind of guy I've been for you is not to be dis, um, dis, dis defame my name on Instagram and all over social media. So you don't want to apologize to me? I'm not apologizing to you for anything. Okay. I've only done to you what you've done to okay, me. Cool. Well, you apologize to well, me, and I apologize to you. I'm gonna I'm not to just... apologize right, to you. Well, for... I feel the same way. All right, that's what it is. And we'll just go from there. Okay. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I'm gonna have it. I can't. I'm like three and a half months. Three that months? That baby's definitely a develop. I'm that's gonna have my baby. Okay. Cool.
So I said, well, then I, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I can, I can get my visitation rights. If I don't get an apology, then I'm just gonna leave. Bye. You think that is cute what you're doing? You know what I'm saying? You think that is cute? And you expect me to come in here and, and woo? Yo, whoop-de-doo. No, I don't want you to be happy, because yeah. I don't need you to help me take care of my baby, so you don't have to be happy at all. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You finally got what you want. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer!